Hey friends, welcome back to Sig City. I am here today with another Transformation Tuesday. I must apologize. Uh, I am late with this, but hopefully I will get this up on Tuesday and it won't be Transformation Tuesday on Wednesday again. So anyway, I weighed in yesterday and I was down one pound, so I'm pretty excited about that. And um, we actually talked about Thanksgiving and how to choose the right foods while you are at your Thanksgiving meal. At our meeting, she had us take a plate, like a paper plate, and write down um, different food options that she had on a table. And then she told us what the point values were for that meal. So I chose um, my options, whatever, and I came up with 26 points, which to me is not terrible for Thanksgiving dinner. But as I was looking at it, I'm like, this would not even fill me up for the whole day. So I, I do get um, 41 points right now. A lot of people only get 30 points. Um, I'm not exact, well, I weigh a lot right now, so I guess that's why I get 41 points. But anyway, um, but like my mother-in-law sitting next to me, I'm like, this is 30 points. I don't know how you would survive a whole day um, off of 26, or this is 26 points, whatever. Anyway, so a piece of pumpkin pie was 13 points, and that like floored me because who doesn't like pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving? And I actually just bought a pumpkin pie today because I volunteered to bring the pies. I thought about making them, but I don't think that I would actually do it. So yeah, I've made them in the past, and I actually had a really good um, crustless pumpkin pie recipe a long time ago that I used, but I think I'm a little too lazy this year, so that's not happening. As we were talking about the different foods that were on her pretend table for Thanksgiving, we talked about like, would you, do you need to eat green beans at Thanksgiving? Well, you probably don't need to because you can get them anytime, but green beans are zero points unless there's stuff on them. Um, so yeah, eat the green beans. Do you need to eat mashed potatoes? at Thanksgiving. Well, if you only eat mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving, then yeah, go ahead and eat them. They're not even that bad. I think you can have a half a cup or something for three points. Um, let's see, like other things, like to me, a piece of pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving is worth it because I don't eat pumpkin pie every day. You can't get pumpkin pie every day and I love pumpkin pie. So to me, 13 points is well worth it. Before, you know, during the actual meal, I would probably eat things that are a little less points. But anyway, the whole point behind that Eat the foods you want to and don't deprive yourself, but if it's a food that you can get any day, like a dinner roll or, um, I don't know, whatever, but if it's something you can eat anytime, then pass it up and move on to something else. If it's a scoop of ice cream, well, you can get ice cream anytime, so why do you need ice cream? If it's a dinner roll, you can get a dinner roll anytime, so why eat the dinner roll? Those are the types of things, like eat what the special foods are. You don't necessarily need to eat everything just because it's there. But also, some of the foods that aren't necessarily special foods, like the green beans that I mentioned earlier, those are zero points as long as there's no like butter or oil on them. So eat those too because they'll fill you up and make you want to eat less of the other stuff. You can always have, you know, just get a scoop of the green bean casserole or just get a scoop of the stuffing or you know a small scoop you don't have to have a full plate of stuffing you don't have to have a full plate of mashed potatoes so um you know keep it in moderation and eat the things that you don't normally get on a regular everyday basis and enjoy your thanksgiving without feeling guilty um, I will have another update next week but it probably won't be thanksgiving related because we talked about it this week but these rules apply for any holiday, any family gathering, anything like that. Um, never deprive yourself because if you do, you're going to regret not having that piece of pumpkin pie and maybe you'll end up eating something worse. So, yep, enjoy your holidays and just remember that you're not there for the food. You're there for the fellowship and the time with your family. With that, I'm going to say goodbye for today. I hope everyone has a great week. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe so you don't miss out on my Transformation Tuesdays every week. I am hoping to have um, another like series coming up, 12 Days of Christmas Ornaments, that I'm going to be doing DIY ornaments. I'm hoping I'm working on that. Um, working on the plan for that right now. And so subscribe if you don't want to miss that. 
Comment below what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. Mine actually is the pumpkin pie, like I've said like four times in this video. So I hope you have a great week. I will see you when we see you. Bye.